what's up guys so today i got a cool treat for you something a little different so in doing my research online about nano skimmers there was barely any content if barely there's nothing nothing out there on the bubble magus mini q internal nano skimmer look at this guys look at how thin this box is as soon as i open this up i'm like you know what this is exactly what i needed to fit my cube 20 so we're going to do an unboxing we're going to show you a little bit about it and uh we'll see what the 89 dollars gets us here for my uh water box cube 20. okay so nice little profile box got this from reefsupplies.ca they are canada's version of bulk reeks reef supply give them a, a look i'll put the description link below so you got the quality control pass from bubble magus instructions nice booklet wow it's a pretty big booklet look at this guys look at this just a little baby way more compact than a flu valve ps2 and some of the other ones i looked at the tons was like 180 dollars was a hundred dollars more to do the same job this one got good reviews from people on Facebook forums, so which is why I bought it. Look at that, already comes assembled. Motor, look at that. You can even see the pinwheel impeller, really neat. There's your adjustment. So the only thing we have to do is install the hang on the back bracket. So we'll do that next. So the simplicity of this thing is unbelievable. Look at this, so there's the bracket. There's the set screw that holds it on the back of the tank. And there's another set screw. And I'll show you what it's for. Basically, there's two keyways here. And that's it. You slide this bad boy in. Once you find your spot in the water level, you tighten that set screw up. And there's the water level right there. So I'm not gonna show you how I set that part up because it's boring, but I'm gonna find the spot. And then we're gonna get it going. The other cool thing about this thing is it's USB. And it comes with a USB adapter, but you can use any one of any of your adapters you guys have at home. So that's kind of neat. Simple. I like simple. For this tank, simple is good. Water box cube 20. Brand new tank. And uh, we don't even need to run the skimmer yet, really, right now, but I'm gonna get it running, keep the, the water oxygenated and stuff like that. So uh, stick with me here. And we are going to get it adjusted and put the bad boy in the tank. I don't know if you guys want me to... Well, this comes off right there. You can go to dump it. And then the pump just pops off the bottom. There's nothing to it. Look at this thing. What a cool little skimmer, eh? I love this thing. Hopefully it works really well. Okay. It's been 24 hours since we installed this new Bubble Magus Mini Q. Um... So it's pretty much almost full. So the tank is new. Um, I have been dosing Red Sea AB Plus and Phytoplankton. So that's why it's, well, you can't see, but it's a little yellow. Um, so we're gonna have to make a little adjustment. It's a little too wet still. Um, the only thing is, okay, so because I put this tank so close to the wall, there's a set screw, like a knob that's supposed to go to the back and tighten the, the, the skimmer. Well, I can't. <laughs> My calculations were off a little bit, but it's fine. So right now the skimmer is sitting a little bit of an angle. You see that? So it's actually causing it to sit down deeper past the water level a little bit more than it's supposed to. Um, and I have the adjustment all the way at its lowest. But other than that, um, you can see it's got a nice bubbles going on there. And it's skimming very well. I'm very happy with this thing for 90 bucks. Um, all I got to do now is just adjust it and we'll see if we can get it perfect. Okay, so to finish up the Bubble Magus Mini Q skimmer part of the video here, made that adjustment after I just showed you guys yesterday how it was a little wet of skim. Now you can see, look at that. Nice froth coming down the cup through the center. I'm gonna leave it right there. So it should take, you know, five days before the cup's full if you have it skimming properly, in my opinion. So we're gonna leave it right there. Um, I made that adjustment like I talked to you guys about. Just change the water line level a little bit. 
Uh, so now I have a little bit more adjustment with the screw on the side. And other than that, this thing is doing great. So and the other thing I wanted to show you guys, this is a, a cube 20 water box. So the middle chamber is the widest chamber. So I have the filter floss there, but I was able to squeeze in this bubble Magnus skimmer. And then right there, that's a, um, a green killing machine UV sterilizer. I, have, I currently have it off because I've been dosing bacteria. So that's the cool thing is I have been able to do UV and a skimmer in this Cube 20. And that's what I originally planned on. So the Bubble Magnus has given lots of room to do that. I'm very happy. What a great skimmer for the money. So simple. Uh, you, can't, you can't beat it. Highly recommend it for your Cube 20s and your Nano Tanks out there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my review and unboxing of the uh, Bubble Magnus Mini Q skimmer.